Okay, so after a very long time, unfortunately, I have finally got my Terra 650 Sport back up and running with some new motors. Um, and I want to just say thank you to those who commented in my video of when I crashed this, or when it fell apart on me, motor blue. Um, thank you for all the comments, because I did take the suggestion and got these 330 kV motors. And just look at the size difference between these two, if you can... So if I can get a better angle there, look at you. The, they're just like so much, they're just way more powerful, way bigger, and they're going to give me so much more torque, thrust, and not overheat and explode like these little Terret, I think they're uh, 380 kV motors. Uh, this is going to make a huge, huge difference. I just know it will. The other things that I decided to update and change were the props. So I had a couple options. And what happened is when it wrecked, I broke the arms uh, for every, well, for like two or three of these motor mounts, I broke them. And so I was going to have to either purchase new motor mounts, but then they're going to be extended out long. And I didn't want to use the same props because they're so heavy. And I just wasn't really sure what to use. And so again, in a suggestion uh, from one of the people who follow me, they suggested that I use these tri uh props. And that way I could actually, instead of having such extended arms, I had these um, arm mounts laying around and I didn't have to buy any of these. I would just use these, which would make my, um, my arms not quite as long, but I wouldn't need such long arms because I had shorter props. But I have three props instead of just the standard two. And that was a great suggestion. And I already had these props. I just didn't have the tri, the, the tri folds. I just had the, the single, you know, straight prop. And I decided to go with the tri. And it's been, it's gonna, I, I think it's gonna be a great, great solution. I also love having them being able to just fold. It's easier for storage and carrying them around. And because I already had all the props, I just needed to buy the the mount for the tri, one blade per per arm. And so that worked out really well. It was cheaper that way as well. So I think that totaled about like 20 or $30. And then the four new motors, which these were only $100 about for four motors, and which I thought was great. And just the, like I said, the size comparison, you can just tell, the, just the, they just feel way more sturdy and look way more sturdy than these little Terret motors are. Besides that, the configuration of the drone is exactly the same. I kept it all the same. I still have my front FPV camera. I have the same uh, PixHawk 4. And the only thing I did change here was I updated the PIDs and I put them back to stock PIDs for a stock PixHawk. And we'll see how that flies. If I need to do any PID tuning, I will. Um, the, the crash, I did have to um, fix a couple broken pieces, uh, broken plastic pieces that keeps the arms attached. So I fixed those. Honestly, it wasn't that bad of a of rebuild. What took so long was the shipping, because I bought these off AliExpress, these motors. And when I bought them, the whole shipping industry you know, and the, the COVID and the, all that kind of stuff happened. And unfortunately, my shipping took like six months for me to get these motors. And then obviously it took me time to kind of build it and put time away to get things all set back up. So it's, it's been a long time and a long time coming. So I'm excited to finally have this ready. So let's take it out to the field and see if it flies. Can I give this thing a try after it's been sitting for a long time i feel very comfortable about the configs and these motors the prop setup everything i just feel like is even better than i had before got the gopro hero 8 on there for some flight footage as well as i got an fpv camera i'll still be running my yapu telemetry script with my mapping and all that stuff um, which i all i still really really enjoy and now yeah, let's uh let's give this a go okay here we go i've got my Yapu script running, you can't really tell, but I got all my stats coming in. Let's see, that is terrible. You cannot see anything, I am sorry. But anyway, got everything coming in. 
Well, I've got my FPV camera up top here. We're gonna go ahead and arm this up and see what happens. Okay, so as you can see, I was, um, I mean, I was not on the sticks at all. I was just letting that loiter and it was loitering great, you know, a little sway side to side slightly, but honestly it was loitering fantastic. Okay, so let's see if I can zoom in here. I got 16 minutes, 37 seconds for my flight. Um, battery is at 3.82 per, uh, per volt. Uh, things are looking really, really good, and holy cow, I am so impressed. And and these these motors aren't even warm. I mean, they're 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 cold. I mean, I just flew that for 16 minutes, no issues. Motors are cold. <laughs> Battery's great. Better stop my GoPro. Uh, I have everything tied in my FPV my gimbal, uh, everything tied into the, the one 6S uh, 10,000 milliamp uh, tattoo battery. Um, I'm going to definitely leave links in the description to everything. This, uh, this drone is now, I feel, finally complete and finally, finally out of state where I, I can trust it. It flies great. It didn't have any issues with that 16 minute flight. That's a great flight time. Uh, again, just very happy with how this turned out. I want to say thank you to everybody who commented in my first video when I crashed it for all the help, uh, for giving me the suggestions on the motors, the props, everything. Um, super, super happy. So, it, again, if you want to copy this build, I will leave all the, all the parts and everything I used in this video description. All right, something I just want to add in. I don't do just drones and... On my YouTube uh, channel, even though it's really small, I might start adding some of my other projects um, if people are interested in, um, such as these two joiner doom buggies that I picked up. 
I completely rebuilt this one. Um, repainted it, redid it. Uh, it's got a 250cc engine in it, and it's a lot of fun. Um, I'll be taking this out, uh, put some small modifications on it, but uh, I found them for fairly cheap and thought, hey, this would be fun to, to fix and rebuild. Um, but my goal for this one, someday, is going to be converting it to electric. As you can see, there is no motor. Um, it might be fun to throw a big, you know, 600cc engine in there or something, but I honestly would love to do an electric one. Um, if you check out my channel, you'll see tutorials and videos on how I built this electric lawnmower. Um, I have a transaxle in the back here, and then set it up with uh, 24 volts, uh, 12 volt batteries in series in parallel with a controller. Anyway, if you're interested, there's uh, videos on all that, but uh, just some extra projects I have kind of laying around that might be doing some videos on. Uh, comment down below if you're interested in seeing some of those. And this uh, truck that you see sometimes in my videos, this is a Ford Courier that was my grandfather's. It was actually my great grandfather's and my dad had it and I picked it up from him. Uh, he gave it to me when I was in high school. And I used this as my first real project that I ever got into. Uh, I restored it completely myself from scratch. Uh, it was pretty beat up, uh, just like the body uh, had dents in it and had to do all my own, um, obviously all my own work on it. And I actually painted it myself as well. I did have a professional booth to use when I was in high school. There was a auto body shop that I took. And anyway, it cleaned up really good. Looks really awesome. Needs a little bit more TLC, which uh, maybe I'll do that in the future, but really fun. And someday, not, not anytime soon, but maybe I'll convert this to electric someday as well, as uh, I just replaced a carburetor on it uh, just a few years ago, but the engine is getting old uh, and uh, barely goes over 50 miles an hour. It's just for putting around. I love this little thing. A few other projects I wanted to show here at the end of the video, um, if you're interested in them, I, maybe I'll do some videos on them. So. Anyway, hope you guys are having a fantastic fall.